Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled Tchelet number 11. Do we need a Mesora, an oral tradition regarding the identification of Chilazon? So in the previous year we quoted Rav Yashiv in his Pesach Tshuvah's Chelet Aleph, Tshuvah number 2, where he says that you don't necessarily need a Mesora. It's just the fact that the Rosina's uh, squid was well known, and all the rabbis during that time rejected it, so it's as if there was a Mesorah that that's not the right one. But in theory, if it could be reconstructed, and we could show what some of the rabbis didn't know about this, they different parts of the world, and this, they didn't see it, something like that, so then we have no Mesorah of those rabbis saying, that's the wrong one, they didn't see it. However, briskers are quoted as saying, you need a Mesorah Ishmi Piyish, and you can't reconstruct it. And some want to say that in the name of, of the Briskers and Rav Herschel Shechter, Talmud Muvah, Rav Herschel Veitchik, does quote the Rav in that way, that you need a Masora Ishmi Piyish, and once it was lost, that's it. It's over. Not a simple idea, because I would think you need a Masora to tell us you need a Masora. Uh, the halach is, hopefully we have an Ishmi Piyish, and if we know, we're trying to make sense of the whole thing and figure it all out. Chas Hashem, Mesorah for Tzvil is lost, so we're going to try to reconstruct it. You need some Mesorah to say, you need a Mesorah. So actually, the Rub gave this over this piece, and people challenged, he tried to defend that position of the Brisker dynasty, that you need a Mesorah, and now we can't have Tcheles, why? Because we lost the Mesorah of Ishmi Piyish. Rav Shaft himself does not hold that way. He says, well, where do we see they need a Mesorah? Where do you see they cannot reconstruct it? And therefore, if we could reconstruct what the Chilazon is based on the evidence that we have, then we should do that. Hershel Shaft certainly is a man of his word. He holds that way. He wears Chilaz. But uh, we'll discuss practice, Mitzvah Shem, later on in the series, right? Or we're just trying to see all the different she taught. So in some... There's two versions of the Salvatic dynasty. They don't have a lot of written Torah on it. It's more Ishmi or oral Mesorah, what the Salvatic solve. But Yashiv maintains the Salvatics maintain that you don't necessarily need a Mesorah. It's just all the rabbis that knew about the squid rejected it. So now Regina comes along that that's not going to work. While Rav Salvatic, the Rav says you actually need a Mesorah. And Rav Shechta says it's, it's very challenging the position. It's not a simple position at all.